Hello and welcome to this iSystem video. In the previous episode, we got familiar with the basics of the emulation adapter and what it's all about. This time, we'll get acquainted with the individual emulation adapter parts, the emulation adapter configuration, and the different target adaptations. Depending on your requirements, you can choose between two types of target adaptation. Flexible adaptation is an alternative choice, when fixed adaptation may not be possible in a target setup where space is very limited, or when fixed adaptation is just not available for whatever reason. So what are all the components that you need to use an emulation adapter? In order to replace the target microcontroller with the emulation adapter solution, you typically need the emulation adapter itself, a conversion board with the solder part, and a grounding wire. An optional measurement board is available that exposes all of the microcontroller signals for easy measurement or connection. There are two different ways to supply power and clock to the emulation adapter. Typically, both the power and the clock are supplied from the target. Alternatively, power can be supplied to the emulation adapter through a dedicated iSystem power supply. Likewise, the clock circuitry can alternatively be built on the emulation adapter itself. You can refer to the emulation adapter user manual for more details on these two manual configurations. Now it's time to connect the emulation adapter to the embedded target. We'll first take a look at fixed adaptation, and later at the differences in flexible adaptation. In fixed adaptation, the first step is to solder the solder part in place of the original microcontroller. If using the optional measurement board, first connect the emulation adapter to the measurement board. Next, connect either the emulation adapter or the emulation adapter and measurement board assembly to the conversion board. Make sure that the target is still powered off. Finally, connect the whole assembly to the solder part on the embedded target. Be very careful and gentle in this step, since connection pins can bend or even break in case of excessive force. In flexible adaptation, the first step is to solder the solder part in place of the original microcontroller. Next, connect the emulation adapter to the conversion board. And finally, connect the whole assembly to the solder part on the embedded target. Now you're ready to connect the blue box via a debug adapter or an active probe. Follow our tutorial on how to connect the hardware for more information. And that's it! You're ready to launch WinIdea and start using the emulation adapter. We recommend that you use the target board presets, which help you to configure the essential CPU settings for the emulation adapter. For all the curious minds of the embedded world, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. Let the tracing begin!